Good morning, everyone. Uh, well, at least it's morning when I'm making this. So, uh, we are just about done. This is the last part of the How to Farm Cricket series. Today, we're going to talk about how to uh, recover your equipment. Uh, and by recover, I mean clean. Uh, I guess most people wouldn't, wouldn't say recover. Uh, either way, here we go. As you can see here, the sponges are pretty dirty. They've got frass all over the place. The dishes are dirty as well. We don't want the crickets getting sick. We don't want anything spreading around here. So we want to make sure that we keep any kind of bacteria down, that we keep everything as sanitary as possible. So what we do is we use bleach water. Now you've seen this before, but basically we take the sponge, put it in one bin, take this, put it in another bin, do that for all of this. We now have everything in the bins, sponges, lids, let's clean them up. So we're going to use just a little bit of bleach in each one, about two catapults should work. And then hot water. And hot water is important because it's just going to help break everything up a lot faster. So let's fill these up. We now have our hot bleach water and we're ready to actually clean. You'll see that everything's getting nice and soft now. It's been a couple minutes of sitting here. Same with the sponges. For the lids, the first thing you want to do, make sure that you get them all in the water, shake off all the excess. Uh, a good idea is also to use gloves. Um, I just forgot to put them on, but just some regular, those yellow gloves you get for like doing dishes and stuff. And then we're gonna take a microfiber cloth. You could use basically anything. Uh, I just like these because they're really easy to wash and. Uh, not too much really sticks to them once you sanitize them. And you take this and you want to get into all these crevices and all around the sides to where it's all nice and clean. So the sponges are a little bit different. As you can see, there's a lot of pores. I mean, it is a sponge after all. So you just kind of want to get out as much as you can here. And then we're going to use our fingers and go in a circular pattern and get all of the excess out of here. This is what it looks like when it's all done. Now it goes in the bin and then it will get rinsed with fresh water after all of the sponges are done. Okay, so we're all done with the sponges. That was a lot of work. Now we need to rinse the trays, rinse out the sponges so they're nice and clean and we get all that bleach off of there, and then we're done, ready to use for another day. We have our lids. Now we're gonna use cold, fresh water. As it's running, usually what you can do is you can start to rinse them off right away. You don't need to scrub them or anything like that. We already took care of that. So we're just gonna rinse them. And then I have a place right over here that they can just dry. We're just gonna air dry just like we do with any other kind of like food grade uh, equipment. Now we have our sponges. We're gonna do basically the same thing, except this time we're gonna get cold water in there. Let's get that going and then wring them out after we get them all nice and rinsed. Okay, now we're gonna allow our sponges to air dry as well. And this way they're all ready, just like our lids, the next time we need them in just a couple days. Uh, as you may have seen, it's actually a pretty good little uh, forearm workout too. Okay, so now you know everything that you need to do in order to clean your sponges correctly. Make sure that none of that bacteria gets in and also make sure that your crickets are able to live a really good healthy life and that means healthy food for you. Now, uh, this is the end of our How to Farm Cricket series. 
Next, we're going to have a Q&A session, and I really would like to have you guys comment down below in the comments. Uh, let me know what questions you have, if there's anything in particular that uh, you know I didn't touch on or you think I need to kind of give you more information about. Maybe just questions you have about the industry in general or uh, just business in general. So please make sure to subscribe and like to this video, share it with your friends. Let's get an army of cricket farmers out there. Until next time, stay chirpy, my friends.